The World Health Organization says dengue fever is the world's fastest growing mosquito borne disease. In Taiwan, health officials here in the city of Kaohsiung are teaming up with local technology firm Geosat to develop this little robot to hunt dengue mosquitoes inside narrow underground rainwater ditches. We can use the machine to find the hiding breeding source. The robot is on the lookout for wiggly mosquito larvae like these. Kaohsiung health officials have long urged residents to drain potted plants and tires, anything holding water where mosquitoes can breed. Officials used to not worry about insects breeding in the ditches back when they carried household sewage, which dengue mosquitoes do not like. Before, the water in these ditches used to be dirtier, more smelly. Since the introduction of the new sewer system, it has become cleaner. But ironically, this is when the problem started to arise. Dengue-carrying mosquitoes prefer laying their eggs in the cleaner water. Mosquitoes are like human mothers. They want their children to grow up in their ideal environment. A mosquito-catching gravitrap shows this street has a high dengue mosquito population, and beneath this rainwater drain there are puddles and larvae. We can now put the machine in the ditch. Into the narrow tunnel creeps the robot. When it finds puddles, Technicians mark the spot on a ditch database so the health department will know where to blast insecticides to kill mosquito larvae and steam to kill eggs. Kaohsiung Mayor Chen Chi Mai says city health officials are working with Geosat developers on the next generation of dengue fever robot. New technology and application will change the strategy of prevention. Improvements include enabling the robot to spray insecticides and steam on its own and to use artificial intelligence to identify the mosquitoes that carry the virus that causes dengue fever. They plan to also use robots to release lab-borne mosquitoes containing biological controls that prevent future generations from transmitting dengue fever. Shelley Schlender, VOA News, Kaohsiung, Taiwan.